uh, 18 plus NSFW OnlyFans. What exactly? Time to continue working on that fairly large order for uh, Rosino here. I uh, <laughs> forgot about this book last episode. I definitely need to read this on camera from Rosino's order. Named Order 4. Rosino's order. 3 million and 1. I believe that's 3 million. Yeah. See other books for everything requested. Hecking game. I request a, okay, the game really, really hates you. Discount. <laughs> and now, shenanigans. When I was working on my ice shop time lapse, Stup and Rosino were over here building something. Stup is the maddest of lads. He built one of these last season, too. <laughs> when you can't remember if the grass will grow right, and so you just watch it. Yep. Somehow, the doors on both of these slot machines keep ending up closed with nobody inside them, and I have not figured out what it is yet that causes that. Because I look, and there's never any, very rarely ever any mob or anything inside these. Very strange. After I use the Ender of Enders to fulfill this order, which costs two diamonds, I'm going to have one left. So I really got to get cracking at this ice shop. This farm is going to be the reason I die to a creeper or something because I go to turn my hostile creature sounds down because the farm is excessively loud if you leave it higher. <laughs> and it turns out I never turned it off from the last time I was here. I forgot to rename this one when I added the enchantments. So now the game is going to charge me 32 levels instead of 1. Thanks, Minecraft. Very cool. Now I'm over at Zilmi and Killer K's base because I am completely out of mending. My luck with AFK fishing has been atrocious lately. So I made a deal with Zilmi for some mending books. A dozen of them for 50 diamonds, which is 10 diamonds off. And... Uh, he was willing to do an IOU because I literally have that one diamond left. So, Zilmi wins again, I guess. I'm going to leave a little IOU here. IOU 50 diamonds in exchange for the 12 mending books. There we go. Well, would you look at that? I'm a little bit richer than I thought. This slot machine has a couple diamonds in it. I was unfortunately unable to put mending on this sword for Rosino's order or rename it because the game's telling me it's too expensive. I thought I accounted for that correctly, so I don't really know. But uh, the other four items of his order, the bow I got to him previously, are all done here as ordered. And I came over here to his base to drop them off, so all done. And now, shenanigans. Hi, welcome to Arlington Sassnack, the best town ever. Now, come on in, and we'll show you. Now, it is five diamonds per, per admission for the whole season, but that's fine. Okay, so, as you can see, we have population one, me, mayor, me. Very cool, right? Okay, so, we're, we're still uh, expanding and building, but uh, we'll take the first building, the Salty Spittoon. Uh, 18 plus NSFW only fans. What exactly? So then we'll just walk in here. Uh, we're again, we're still um in the process of building things. Now, if you come over here, you can see this sign. Now, if you know what song that's from, you get 15 points. Epic. So, all right, now, 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 come on out. Also, I, I think at this point I should mention that our cur our currency is wheat. All right. Um, so, then we'll come on over here to the stable, where we can meet Remy, uh, that's, that's, that's MZ's horse, uh... Which, he's a resident of the town, I'm not. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then over here we have our sheep that have just, uh... Uh... The grass still hasn't grown, that's fine. 
Well, I'll just put some bone meal down, it'll be alright. Alright. Over here we have our, uh, prison. You know, just to... It's got a missing stair, it's fine. No, Steve disappeared. Did... what? He... 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 How? He was named tagged. I know, it's... Okay. <sighs> Alright then. Yeah, uh, just to sum that up, uh, we had a... This, this mad lad, the wandering trader, wanted to sell us, uh... Pack dice for three diamonds and an emerald, or th three, three emeralds for pack dice, and uh, that was just unacceptable. So yeah, we we had to get a bit get, get him into the prison. Anyway, that's Arlington. We're gonna expand. Probably gonna have a few houses, you know, and a summer home for MC, of course. And she's gonna have to pay for her because um, I just paid him sixty-one diamonds. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, that 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 that's that that that's that. I've rearranged and replenished some of the prizes here in this slot machine because Rosino came through and kind of cleaned me out again, including the last Wither Skull. So I'm gonna have to go get some more of those. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to adjust the odds of the machine a little bit again. All right, back over here at the Redstone Shop with an update pertaining to the ice shop. As you'll see to the left here, I've got an addition in the form of a ice, not ice, water elevator. And, uh, you know, of course, i got to make up a dumb word that's <laughs> what I imagine would be the opposite of elevator. There's probably a word for that, but this seemed funnier. I thought it was, eh, it's dumb, whatever, don't worry about it. Um, so this was the quick and easy way to do it. I thought about doing a redstone version where I would swap out between the two different blocks underneath, but that would require running redstone power down from the top and having making sure the timing was all right, and I didn't really have anywhere to hide the redstone. So I might do that later, but this was the quick and easy way to get it set up so I can open the ice shop a little bit quicker. So if you go in on the left here, you'll just get shot up to the top. Um, and I'm still working on this. Uh, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do for a floor yet, but I'll figure something out. So uh, then you go on to the other side here, and it pulls you down. I'll be back here with another update in a second. Ran into a bit of a problem here while putting the floor in for the ice shop. I want to have redstone lamps in all four corners, and then a couple other spots. Um, but then... With this armor stand here that makes the redstone ore glow, I can't... Wow. I just proved myself wrong. I swear that didn't want to place yesterday. You stupid! I... Wow. Okay. Um, well, never mind. Problem solved, I guess. Ice shop progress update. There is a floor, and there is lighting. And there is... Glass that is supposed to be like an elevator, and I'll put signs and stuff on it later. Um, Rosino gave me a, the idea that I should probably put in some sort of elytra entrance so that people could just fly straight in here too. Um, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that, but I'll figure something out and be back here in a little bit. All right. I got myself a elytra entrance here now. Uh, it's just a... <laughs> hole in the shape of a plus because that's as close as you can get to a circle and then uh, put some glazed terracotta with the arrows on it like that the magenta to uh, just for decorative reasons and fly in and out fairly easily it's not too narrow we won't have difficulty fitting through there while flying at high speeds and then on the outside I put some glowstone and yellow stained glass so it draws your attention and it's lit up during the night. I decided to put this entrance on the back side that faces away from spawn just so it doesn't draw away from the design of the ice block as much. I went to shear my sheep and then realized a flaw in the pen they were standing in. There wasn't any grass, so 
they weren't going to be able to regrow their wool. So I'm going to finish putting grass in there. While over here collecting some wool, I happened to think to look in this chest from my sugarcane farm and saw that it was completely full. And uh, it backed up a ways too. It's uh, full up to here, I think. Oh, maybe one more. Yeah, right up to here, and then it's... <laughs> so, I've got plenty more sugarcane than I'm probably ever going to use on this server, in all honesty, unless I find another use for it. So, I think I'll just uh, toggle this farm off for the time being. Now that should keep it from updating. Okay, I got some work done here, again, at the ice shop over the last few days, and I've got it pretty much ready to go here. I changed the sign out here that talked about the redstone shop uh, for this one instead so that people know there's an entrance here and then a couple more signs here with arrows because obviously you got to have arrows and uh, I might actually swap these around so that <laughs> I use them for the elevator one's pointing in one pointing out for direction but we'll see because that's what I ended up doing up here uh, use them for directional and then uh, put up some banners here and a couple other signs with nice names for the ice. And I set the prices there. Uh, the regular ice is 64 for a diamond, half a stack of packed ice for a diamond, and 16 blue ice for a diamond. And then, you know, I put some arrows in here and these signs, which are also. <laughs> Perfect, I think. So, yeah. Um, just a couple of blocks here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One other change. Let's see here. Where do I have a uh, little lever? Right here. Uh made a little entrance so I can get into here and I'm using it for a little bit of storage of ice down here. So That'll come in handy from time to time. Unfortunately, I haven't set up a very easy way to get back out of here. But that'll work. And this elytra entrance works pretty nicely from what I tested. I might set up something later there so that there's water or something so it will slow people down a little bit because that is a little bit of an issue but i think otherwise it should be good and hopefully once the update has been installed people will be buying ice like crazy for nether transport the server is being taken offline for maintenance tomorrow primarily to get us updated to the 1.16 nether update so i came over here to tear down my portal because I want to get the gold blocks and the obsidian back. We'll be doing a full reset of the nether to get all the biomes and, you know, have them nearby since chunks won't be regenerated. And I figure, well, might as well uh, save me the little bit of obsidian. Perfect. Thanks for watching. At the time this episode will be airing, the server is likely still down for maintenance since Zilmi and I are currently without internet access. He's not able to do much work on the server without it, and I'll be uploading this episode either via USB tethering from my phone or driving somewhere with my laptop. So the contents of episode 12 are a bit of a mystery at this point. It'll be a surprise for all of us. All of the current packets are excited to explore the new nether biomes, and I'm sure we'll see a bit of an uptick in activity when the server is back online. Till next time, MZ.